Hello sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. This week we're going around my house and tackling some areas that need some decluttering and organization. So if you're ready, let's jump right in to the video. Hey friends, I hope you have had a great week so far. I for one can tell you we are looking forward to this upcoming weekend because the forecast is bright and sunny. You know, we have had rain for the last two weeks, so we are definitely looking forward to having some fun. First thing on the agenda today is getting into this playroom and decluttering a lot of the girls' toys. I have been putting this off for a very long time. Honestly, I have had a bag of toys sitting in the floor of my laundry room in front of my dryer for the longest time ever. I think Ruby was still in school when we set that bag in there. So I have definitely needed to get this done. We just have not had the time nor the energy to do it. But today is the day because I know we are mid-August. It is August 15th, guys. And pretty soon, brand new toys are gonna be making their way into my house because I have fall babies. We have three birthdays in fall. We have September, October, and November. And needless to say, all of the toys that magically appear at the end of December. So we are about to be bombarded with new toys. So I definitely want to make sure that I am on top of this and just let go of everything that needs to be gone. While I go through this infamous bag of toys that has so graciously sat on my laundry room floor, I am going to take the opportunity to introduce myself to our new subscribers and any viewers that have no idea who I am. My name is Natalie Rodriguez and I am a stay-at-home wife and mama to three beautiful little girls. And on this channel, I focus primarily on motivation. So we have cleaning motivation, homemaking motivation, mom life content. So if you like things like that, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and smash that notification bell so that you'll be updated every time I upload a new video, which as of right now is every single Thursday. We do all sorts of fun things here. So if you like grocery hauls, cooking videos, cleaning, and just mom life chaos, <laughs> definitely stick around with us. We would love to have you. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces all the time. Picture so perfect we play through Only cause you set up the angle Web that you weave got us tangled Caught in what's before our eyes Show off your fantasy reality Whoa, that's yours but I'll keep doing mine You be 
don't make mistakes it isn't perfection what is it we chase bow for your 15 seconds of fame it's your time give me the messy give me the pain a rose will not grow without the rain i want to be someone who says there's more than meets the eye show off your fantasy reality I'm going through these books really quickly because quite a few of them are ripped and broken and most of them needed a good wiping down. So I just took a microfiber cloth with some hot water and some dish soap and just wiped everything down so it would be nice and clean. I do apologize because I forgot to angle my camera when I sat down so you can't really see everything that I'm doing. But I'm just going through the books really quickly and then I'll show you the stack that we decluttered. Joy of the first steps of a child. It's the joy of your great grandmother's smile. We came a long way, but we ain't slowing down. We got a strong pace, no, we ain't losing ground. We won't give up and we won't turn around. to give you advice help you find the wrong from the right even when you're not in their sight you'll be all right just look at the big wide world we're living in yeah just keep running until you discover it
Now it's time to focus on this kitchen sink area. There was so much stuff shoved in this cabinet. It was unreal. I found everything from empty containers to paintbrushes of all things. All right, so it's all clear under here. Now let's get to organizing and decluttering. I had a sweet friend comment on a previous video and ask me if I could make a video about decluttering or at least give some decluttering tips. So I don't really do decluttering on a massive scale. I guess that would be my first tip. I do decluttering in small batches just because in this season of life for me, that is what works best and it is so much easier to manage. So I guess you could take that as tip number one, do decluttering in small batches. Uh, the next tip that I could give you is hold off on donating or trashing the items that you do declutter. Give yourself a couple of days to make sure that you really don't need that item that you are about to throw out. I cannot tell you how many times I have been so excited to throw something out that I just start throwing everything out. And then I turn around the very next day and I will need several of the items that I have already thrown away. So definitely give yourself some time and some grace on decluttering because you never know what you actually need until you sit with yourself and really think about it. The biggest tip that works for me whenever I am getting the urge to declutter is to start with the easiest area first. Usually that will be a place that I know is full of empty containers or packages so that I can just literally put those packages or containers into the recycling bin and just get them out of my space and out of my mind. That motivates me so, so much to move on to something that's a little bit more difficult to declutter. So that is definitely, a I mean, I, I take that as a tip. That's what I do for myself. Uh, like this, this area right here that we're decluttering. There were so many empty packages or almost empty packages that it was really easy for me to throw away a lot of things. And I really didn't even throw anything useful away. I literally was throwing away packaging. The last tip that I could give you for any decluttering situation is go in with a set of non-negotiables before you start. What I mean by that is go in with a set of guidelines that you're going to use to determine if you're going to get rid of an item or not. For example, I already know that one of my non-negotiables is Ruby's clothing. I do not hold Ruby's clothing to keep it for the other two girls because there is a five year gap between Ruby and Sophia. I am not lugging around Ruby's hand-me-down clothes for five years in hopes that it will one day fit Sophia. That is a non-negotiable for me. I am not willing to do it. It is going to take up too much space. I also know that I do not want to hold on to anything that is visibly broken or is missing pieces because again, that would serve me absolutely no purpose. 
Thank you all so much for commenting on my videos. Please do not hesitate. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below. I am more than happy to answer your questions or even receive video suggestions like this one. That was absolutely wonderful to receive. It may take me a few weeks to make the video, but I will always take your suggestions into consideration. So I hope again that these tips were helpful and I do want want to mention that all of the trays and baskets that I'm using to organize underneath the sink came from Dollar Tree or at this point Dollar Plus because let's be honest nothing is a dollar anymore. Oh where have I been? Stupid silence You've been standing right there all along Even though it's been unspoken so long I'm only waiting for you Just waiting for you To give it enough uh, You know I'm begging for you Just waiting for you To show me your love uh, Cause I wanna be certain We don't have to be lonely we don't have to be hurting Cause I'm feeling like you and I are perfect I don't wanna be sorry I don't wanna think every night But how we've been so blind So upset, I'm waiting till it's too late No rest for lovers who are undetermined I just wanna be certain I don't wanna waste all our time Wondering if we're right for a sign. Make you part of mine. I've been waiting for a sign. These are from TJ Maxx. Waiting for a sign. Wanna make you part of mine. I've been waiting for a sign. Don't you feel the same? You want it for us. Even though you don't wanna say it. Say it. been saying it softly with no words. You whisper with your Just waiting for you to give it enough. Give it enough. Give it enough. No, I'm begging for you. Just waiting for you to show me your love. Show me your love. Show me your love. Cause I wanna be certain. We don't have to be lonely. We don't have to be hurting. Cause I'm feeling like you and I are perfect. I don't wanna be sorry. I don't wanna think every night. But how we been so blind, so upset. I'm waiting till it's too late. No rest for lovers who are undetermined. I just wanna be certain. I don't wanna waste all our time wondering if we're right. I've been waiting for a sign. Wanna make you part of mine. I've been waiting for a sign. I don't want you going away. I've been waiting for a sign. Wanna make you part of mine. I've been waiting for a sign Don't you feel the same Don't you feel the same Cause I wanna be certain We don't have to be lonely We don't have to be hurting Cause I'm feeling like you and I are perfect I don't wanna be sorry I don't wanna think every night About how we've been so blind So say I'm waiting till it's too late No rest for lovers who are undetermined I just wanna be certain I don't wanna waste all our time Wondering if we're right I've been waiting for a sign Wanna be a part of mine I've been waiting for a sign I don't want you going away I've been waiting for a sign Wanna be a part of mine I've been waiting for a sign Don't you don't you, don't you, yeah. All right, my friends, we are nearing the end of this video. I'm just going to finish tackling this dining room because as we were getting things done in the kitchen, the girls were keeping themselves occupied in here. 
I hope that this video gave you all the motivation that you need to get up and tackle whatever is on your own to-do list. I hope that you found this content of value. If so, don't forget to subscribe, like, and smash that notification bell if you have not already. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or if there's specific content you would like to see in the future. Thank you so, so much for all of your support, and I hope that you all have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.